Hello my dear friends of Healthy Hair and Skincare. Today's topic is going to be a bit of a summary video because um, the Lucky Lucky Pomades came out as you may know and as you see I have already a t-shirt of course the merch is out there as well but again um, I already reviewed the black label aka stronghold and the red label aka firmhold already I will put down the links in the description below here I will give you an overview and a bit of news of course about the current uh, panel roster of the Lucky Lucky Pomade. So again, what do we start with? In my initial video, I speculated a bit about the ingredients of uh, these pomades. Now they are printed on the bottom of the tins. Uh, here we have petrolatum, cera alba, lanolin, um, argan oil, yojoba oil, and of course the uh, respective uh, perfume and perfume holding ingredients. Again, a super pomade, one of my two absolute favorite pomades that I use extensively often. Um, it's absolutely great. We have here the crazy bean scent, which is a Tonka bean vanilla type of scent. I absolutely love it. It's perfectly great. Yeah, totally fine. And um, yeah, an absolute killer of a product. All right, my again one of my most used pomades and an absolutely beast of a hair product. Then we have the red label, which is the firm hold. If you want a compa by the way, if you want a comparison with this, it is the MG Pomades Outlaw. Um, a good comparison on the American market, you do not, you rather don't find anything. Lives as anything can com can come close to it, although this is much more complex and much better. It was the Aces High by Dick Tremolo. This is definitely a comparable pomade, um, where the consistency and the taking out of the tin and so on. Then the red label is the firm hold. Comparable pomades are, for example, the Goom Grease, also the hold. The shine is, by the way, in all pomades, not much. There's, you know, a rather matte type of style. Um, although, you know, not totally matte, like with clay or matte paste, but again, it comes to the direction. Here, again, Goom Grease type of pomade superbly nice Ab again absolutely better with much less a shine than the goon grease but again an absolutely killer of a product uh reviewed it already again the link is down in the description below now we have the medium holding product which is the uh green uh tin comparable pomades are the lockout's medium is probably the um best description or the mg pomades uh grains lemon grove Absolutely nice, absolutely perfectly crafted. Again, a perfect medium with a decent hold, like the Lockhart medium. Then, the blue one is the light holding type of pomade. Again, this offers a bit of hold, all right? It is not a typical light holding pomade where you just get your hair rather oily and stuff, but this offers, again, a bit of hold. Here, absolutely perfectly styled and crafted. The veterans, or pomade veterans, especially on the German market, will recognize that these were the new tins. Um, the old tins were the bigger ones, and it has lesser ingredients, uh, lesser ingredient, uh, lesser content, let's call it like this. These are 100 milliliters, the old one was 120, 125 milliliters. They will switch back. These tins were already bought before the launch, so they used it. Um, again, here come, what well, will come in the future will be the old bigger tins and of course the um uh, with the bigger tins come the bigger amount of product that will be delivered for the same price there won't be any price changes so again positive news on this side i absolutely love this pomade guys if you haven't tried it ever give it a try you will love it as well and you will be convinced as i am so i hope you're doing well i hope you're healthy and i hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.